हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल लाइफ सिंग इट एंड ट्रेवल टुडे आई विल टेक यू टू खोनोमा नागालैंड रिकॉग्नाइज्ड एज द ग्रीनेस्ट विलेज ऑफ एशिया एंड इफ यू एंजॉयड माय वीडियो देन काइंडली हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन वेलकम टू खोनोमा like alpha fathers they have they have, they have so many uh, of the enemies but even from the enemy village if someone comes and then crosses this gate seeking for protection and then seeking for help it becomes our uh, duty to look after them so now that you have crossed this gate welcome to konoma you, you are no longer a stranger to us <laughs> head of a mitun this head this is the head of a mitun i don't know whether you have seen mitun yeah 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 okay so this mitun signifies vigor and vitality Okay. And um, this is a man in his headgear. It is also a signifies manlihood and the bravery. Uh this is like a horn which is made out of mithun. And this is like the mithun horn actually. And this is used as cup. And uh this cup we usually serve it to the beloved sons and daughters. Mm-hmm. Because it seems, it seems it is pointed that they cannot just keep it down but they keep holding and keep drinking. Mm-hmm. So it is a kind of blessing we give it to the beloved sons and daughters. and in this circle thing it signifies full moon our forefathers believed that full moon gives good harvest okay. and they followed a lunar calendar so this is these are like the significant of our age okay this <coughs> because uh, hunting not only serves livelihood to so many people but like it all it is also a sport to us hmm. so we kept hunting until very recently some of our ecologically conscious uncles they came up with the idea saying let us stop hunting and uh, the youth they they stood against it in the first place because with the introduction of new gun they could go to the forest they could hunt some wild animals they bring it back and then you know since we have so many educated unemployed youths they take it to the market and then they sell them which makes them money so they never wanted to stop hunting but uh, our elders keep insisting so finally we said okay let us give up hunting so that's great we, that's great yeah, so we started to uh, conserve the the little forest that we have and also we stop hunting so and then we were never aware that we were doing such a great thing but the government of india they acknowledged the little efforts that we put was conservation and they gave us a project called the green village project wow congratulations so of rupees 300 uh, three crore okay great so with that we started to come up with the uh, uh, paths with community toilets mm-hmm. yeah and they also gave us the title first green village of asia is it Wow, yeah. great. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and life owners mm. to pick up the plastic wrappers and all the dirt. Mm. Now, the little girls and boys what they do is they will try to collect the most number of plastics. Mm. And the the one who collected the most number of plastics will be given a pen or a sweet. Wow. Or sometimes just a thank you, okay? Yeah, okay. And very surprisingly, that pen and that sweet it worked better than a musical. Okay. Yeah. So with that we are also trying to declare ourselves with like the biggest bliss. Mm. Yeah. So that is also one of the biggest outcome of our conservation. To be like <coughs> believe to be over 500 years old. Mm. Now we have over uh, 500 to 600 households and population of over 4000 population. Now we have uh, three uh, major clans and of course we have so many sub clans but we have three major clans. So every clan they have their own respective forts, they have their own respective morongs. and they also have their own gates mm-hmm. so we have uh, such a, like this gate seven of these gates are on our village okay yeah so during our uh, the britishers we had a very long history with the britishers mm. so the britishers they just considered this the whole will this entire village one particular fort yeah so we practice two system of cultivation The the first is jhum cultivation which is also like the shifting cultivation we also call it slash and burn cultivation now the kind of cultivation that we practice here at a food hill is there is cultivation so even in this there is cultivation we of course uh, practice both mixed cropping and also crop rotation which is just once a year but in the absence of paddy after the harvest is over we grow maize we grow almost everything that we need in the kitchen like chili uh, mustard tomato potato almost everything and uh, one of the good thing that we uh, that we practice here is uh, it's not exactly barter system also but we call like it will be more or less sharing mm-hmm. so you will not even find big markets here 
the little thing that I find in my garden, I wanted to share it with my neighbor. So I share it with them. Wow, great. And the little thing they get in the garden, they also share it with me. So everything that we do here is very community oriented. Great, great. Yeah. And generally, generally, if I say, if I ask you, mm -hmm. what what is what are the difference between zoom cultivation and this kind of cultivation, mm -hmm. and what are the differences? Ah, uh, the differences will be like we don't we don't uh, have this water irrigation system in zoom cultivation. Okay. Yeah. The main you have water water connection here. Yeah, we have a uh, water connection here. We call it uh, what do we call this? Uh, so, so many canals, the water distribution is also something very unique here. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to gym cultivation, the use of water is absent. Mm. And also we, uh, we clear certain portion of land and then we burn the whole thing. And then only then we, you know, we, we cultivate our, our vegetables. Now after one or two years, that particular plot of land will be abandoned again. And then we shift the, we shift the cultivation to some other part of the land. Mm. And after seven to eight years, we come back to cultivate that land. So mm. within that period of time, the soil also retains its, fer its fertility. Mm. Yeah. So June cultivation is also, in Sh other words, called shifting, shifting cultivation. cultivation. Yeah. But whereas this, uh, this uh, cultivation, we don't shift our cultivation. It's a permanent one. Yeah, it's a permanent one. Okay. And every household, they will have their own uh, plot of land. Okay. a place where they used to come and then they look out for like the enemies and so it's a kind of community hall right correct okay me means the people the people yeah. okay means konoma kono means so no me. so no is the name of that particular, particular plant. plant yeah, yeah. so kono me means the people of kono huh. but now for the uh, convenience sake they term it konoma okay then kisa kisa means like uh, it's like the new house the place of new house the people of new house okay yeah in dialect especially mm. you will get to know uh, the, uh, the places like you just get to know the terminologies Hmm. Yeah, just by hearing the name, nah, hmm. you get uh, its origin, the concept. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jim cultivation. Yeah, that is gym cultivation. Yeah. So, in gym cultivation, we also practice a system hmm. simultaneously hmm. called elder based cultivation. Hmm. And then the system we uh, follow is called polarding. Hmm. So, elder is uh, actually the name of a tree. So, it is also the second fastest green tree in Nagaland. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, um, some people they call it magical tree mm. but now what we normally do is when this particular tree elder tree it reaches its maturity we cut this tree in one particular season so that when the next one comes mm. so many shoots comes out mm. now even from the shoots we select the best shoots and then we cut the rest and also depending on the size of the tree we may select the shoots okay. now after five to six years the tree also should come to grow up to under another grown tree. Mm -hmm. So that is how from one single tree we give life to like multiple trees. Okay. So that is called gene cultivation. I mean like other other base cultivation. Okay. The system is called polar Polar. Like yeah. Passion fruit. This is passion, passion fruit. fruit. Yeah, passion fruit. Okay. We call it bell. <laughs> okay, and uh, from where people get the water for washing or using in any other purposes. It's a kind of cabbage which are uh, found here, a big cabbage. This one is a small kitchen garden. You can see chilies. You can see cherry tomatoes, 
you can see grabs and this is the Olympic ground <laughs> We call it Tehu. Tehu? Yeah, which uh, is like the Morong. So during our forefathers' days, there was no school. Education was absent. Mm. So what the kids to do is, they come to this Morong, where they are already in the position to run around with their friends, mm. and then they come, they, you know, be a part of, they become a part of this Morong, and this is where they learn their first lesson without any textbooks and without any homework. Okay. Yeah, so this is where we learn the social values. This is a kind of village school. Yeah. Uh, so during me till date, I have a great respect for this moron because I learned my lesson from this moron without any textbook and without any homework. Mm -hmm. So if you were noticing while going around this village, if I come across any elders, I greet them, you know, before they could greet me. Mm -hmm. That is what uh, that is one lesson I learned from my elders. Okay. So they say always be the first person to greet your elders before they greet you. That is one. Mm -hmm. The second virtue I call it which I learned from this moron is never show wrong direction to strangers. So that is another lesson I learned from this moron. Mm. So this moron served as the medium you know, uh, to impart your knowledge you know, and also the social value that we have to do. The do's and don'ts of the society. Mm. Yeah, so this is one first place. This is made up of elephant skin. Elephant skin. Okay. Yeah. So the whole under into the spear running in the forest. <laughs> it weighs a little more than 5 kilos. You can also try. I'll take a picture. <laughs> okay. Okay, kill me if you can. So, <laughs> he is like the Iron Man from Guati. <laughs> Along with the shield. <laughs> which weighs a little more than 5 kilos. How old is this? Uh, this will be over... Uh, 50 to 60 years old. 50 to 60 years old? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is the male's dormitory. Yeah. This rest this of the kilo. Oh. And then this is the This is like a headstone. Okay. Activities. And these are plates for eating. We call it community eating. Okay. If we turn up, we have one old plate. Yeah. life mm. especially these people the first thing is agriculture mm. the second is hunting mm. the third thing is romance mm. so these three things revolves around our life mm -hmm. now uh, when it comes to community eating mm. during our festivals during our, uh, our our celebrations what we do is I will invite our girlfriends mm. now we will eat together in this plate mm. and while eating if I come across any piece of meat which is considered delicacy mm. I offer that to my girl okay my little love uh, before my love for her. Uh. So, this is all the hmm. So, this is for carrying grains, rice. And then we also have, yeah, for carrying firewood. We have garlic here for the next season, the seeds. Hmm. These are garlics. And we also have a place for founding grains before rice meal was introduced. Hmm. And this is for husking the grains, you know, separating the grain from the husk. Hmm. So, and these are some of the activities of the women folks. They also serve as guardian to so many other tribes from different, uh, from different states. Mm. So, this, especially the people of Samoma, there is one particular clan from Samoma. So, they had this traditional friendship with another tribe from uh, Manipur. Mm. Mm. So, during one of the reaffirming, like while reaffirming their friendship, they were presented this drum. Mm. So, Can you beat it slowly? <laughs> Okay, thank you. Oh. If you go down there, you'll be able to see only this one again. Mm. But only this one again, you go. This point serves as a three point. Mm -hmm. This one was signal was passed. The 
दैट इज वाइल्ड फायर Mm-hmm. They accumulate all the wealth that they need, mm-hmm. and then they uh, offer feast of marriage to the all the village seven times mm-hmm. during their lifetime. So the village be um, uh, the deal this in their memory. So mm-hmm. this is like a memorial with status. So um, like of all the seven festivals, we have one particular festival called Kilipi. So that is the day every youth, both boys and girls, they will come, you know, in uh, their traditional attires and. That is how you are judged, you know, by the by the people. Mm-hmm. So if you come, like you will have to come in line with all your mates, and then you will come and then you will walk around the circle mm-hmm. to pay respect and tribute to this man. And then Shakur. <laughs> so during the right one, we usually soften <laughs> this part. We dig this part, mm-hmm. and then we will soften the soil. Okay. And this is where you wrestle. You know, you come running from there. You play high jump, long jump. It's a it's a kind of playground for this village, yeah, right? Correct, correct. So, is it a house for the village head? This is uh, the house of, um, of a particular age group. Okay. So, age group has another very long story. Hmm. It is a social pattern. It's a social structure. You know. So, age group literally means a group of young boys and girls belonging to one particular age. Hmm. So, they will form a group when once they reach the age of poverty, they form a group. And then they become a lady group. Hmm. So they will be one village elder to take care of them. So he becomes their spiritual parent. Hmm. Yeah. So that is a, uh, that is called lady group. Okay. And what is that that old one that that t- typical Naga house? Like Morong. Okay. Yeah. The same Morong we have. Morong. But uh, before, like this is like uh, called the house of status. Hmm. So you cannot have this structure unless you have something like you have the. Uh, You uh, you earn it, so you have to earn it. If you say you give all piece of marriage to the village, you can have one part of this structure. Okay. So these are called house of status. Okay. How how old is this girl? Sixty years. Enter to the more home. This is the big bed where all the youth men come together for the morning. Yeah, this is a shoot. This is a bear skin. These are the shells that are. Made up of bear skin. They will go to the forest and then they will uh, prepare those all these decorative stuffs. Hmm. They will collect the wild nuts, the wild beets. They will come and then they will re- uh, decorate their parents' house. Hmm. Now, this year on the same day, they will remove all this, and then they will like this will be replaced with uh, new, new one. ones. So nowadays, this is just the depiction of like the older. The-